Hi everyone, today we will do some forensic work. As you know, Imotet is a malware which is spreading around the world. Today we will look at uh, one of the infected Microsoft Word document and we will analyze it. Uh, we will use the malware bazaar website to download one sample. Right now we are on our virtual box, so we are safe. Uh, let's look at this document example it is tagged as Hyodo. Hyodo is a version of Emotet malware so let's look at it a little bit here this is a document uh, prepared by Trend Micro let's go to the first page to see here it is uh, showing the Imotet's activities. If you search for Hyodo uh, on page 16, you can find information. So it was there was another malware before, Fyodo, Geodo, and Hyodo. The successor of Geodo with some researchers named Hyodo or Imotet version 4. So we will look at this one today. So let's go and download our file here. Let's go. By the way, I will uh, add the links to those uh, files in the video's description part. Let's download. A warning. Okay. And we download our file. Okay. Let's go. It's here. Right now I am going to use a software to monitor the activities on this computer which is called CMD Viewer, CMD Watcher. Let's look at it here. As you see here, there is kill process, so CMD, PowerShell and others will be killed if there is a process. So we will run this software right now. And let's go to our download folder. Let's extract file. The password for the documents is infected. Yes, it is here. Let's make it smaller. Okay. Right now, I will uh, run this document. As you see, the anti-virus uh, software found it, but we will ignore it. Let's click on it and here we will allow this document on this device okay let's look at it right now double click it's coming as you see it will show us a warning Yes. Enable editing. Here. Right now, as you see, there is again another warning here. There are micros, and these micros have been disabled. So once we enable the micros, the malicious code will run and our software here cmd watcher will catch what will happen let's see all together let's enable the content yes as you see here once the micro is enabled a powershell command uh, runs but right now it will not run because this software will kill this process but we will be able to see the payload what will run in the PowerShell okay 
So right now we will copy this uh, payload. Let's copy all. Let's go to our Notepad++ and paste it. Let's make it a little bit larger and wrap it. Okay. So this is a PowerShell command. So let's go to the language and from letter P, let's highlight the PowerShell command. As you see here, this is uh, difficult to understand because it is encoded. We will decode this uh, command so we will understand what it is. Let's copy this part here. Okay. Let's go to a decoder website. This is our website, suckmanager.com, and under the miscellaneous uh, part, you can find base64decode.org. Let's go to this website and paste the code here and let's decode it. As you see, normally when it is encoded, the payload is here. Let's take it and paste it into Notepad++ to see what it is exactly. Again, from the language, let's go to P and PowerShell command. As you see, this is the payload. This command will run in the PowerShell. So right now it is difficult to understand what it is, but we will work on it and simplify it. And at the end, we will get the URLs that this malware is trying to connect and download the uh, other uh, malicious files. So let's look at it right now. Uh, as you see, if you try to read the codes, there is a here type. Uh, direct system etc but some of the codes are familiar to us so I will make it like this to read it easily I will select all normally there is a semicolon here so after each semicolon I will have a break so let's make it like this select all uh, let's replace the semicolon semicolon with uh, we will click extend it and backslash and n so let's replace all then we will see all of them line by line as you see here there are some variables there is one variable here another one here another one here another one here but this one is important for us. Uh, let's look at this one. The threat actors using the obfuscation methods to hide the information, uh, the websites that they are trying to reach. Let's look at one code here for each. If you know a little bit coding, so there is a loop here. And in the loop, you see this function, this uh, variable, calling this one so for each of the item in this variable a code will run as you see here download file download file function will work for this code so let's look at this part right now i will copy this part copy and let's go to another tab here again from the language part let's go to powershell Yes, it is here. Right now, as I see here, there is a replace command here, which is uh, not needed for now. Let's move it a little bit down. And here, this is the variable name. I don't need it. So this part is important for me. If you look at here, HTTP uh, colon, after that, there are some more other stuff here. So. We want to uh, read this part, but to make it easier to read, 
I will remove some uh, characters from this string. Let's select all and let's replace some of the characters. Example, let's re let's uh, let's replace uh, the parentheses and we will replace it with nothing. So replace all. We removed all open parentheses. Let's remove the close parentheses. Okay. As we see right now, right now we see a single code and plus and single code here. So let's remove this one and let's see what will happen. Single code plus single code. We will replace it. Actually, we can take it to normal mode. And in the selection, let's remove all of them. Okay, so we are getting some meaningful text here. As you see right now, we are able to see HTTP. There is one single quote here which is not needed. Let's remove it. And there is one at the end. Let's remove that one. Okay, right now, as you see, there are brackets. Let's remove them as well. Uh, let's remove it from the selection. Replace all. Let's remove the other bracket. Replace all. Right now, as we see, there is number one here. Number one a lot. Let's remove this number ones as well. Replace all. Okay. Let's remove it only from the selection. Okay. Replace all. Right now, as you see, HTTP and there is a website name here. Another website, another domain, etc. But there is something interesting here. This code is repeating. You see? So there is a meaning of this. But before that, let's see, there is a space here. So let's remove all the spaces in this code. Let's leave one space here and nothing here. Replace all. So it is like this right now. Normally, we know that in a, a URL, there is HTTP colon. After that, slash. It means this code represents a slash. As you see here and another one here. So it repeats itself. So let's copy this one and replace it with a slash. Let's select all and replace all of them. Right now, it is much more meaningful for us. As you see here, there is a domain, HTTP, uh, tinytontees.com, VP content and TV. The URL ends at this point, but as you see, there is another slash and at sign. After that, another URL starts. So it means after each URL, something is repeating here a slash and at sign another one is here a slash and at sign so let's remove these ones as well copy paste i will replace this one with uh, nothing but also with a line break Make sure that you click on this one after that put this one. So let's select it and let's see what we are going to find. Yes, we got our URLs. When the micro uh, runs on the PowerShell with the encoded line, uh, encoded code here, uh, when we decode it, we got this one and we when we remove the not necessary characters from the code, we got the websites. So let's look at them one by one. Copy. Okay. 
let's go to the website let's see what will happen there is a website like this but nothing happens as we just see let's look at the other URL paste and go yes suspected phishing site ahead we will dismiss and we would like to enter the site let's go but as you see Chrome blocked it so we need to uh, change the settings on the Chrome let's go to the settings under the privacy and security settings click on the security and here no protection yes turn off uh, let's click the link again yes right now it allowed but it is asking again so we will say keep the file right now it downloaded an executable file but right now our antivirus software found it so let's click on it and again don't send yes we will allow it on this device okay so let's click on it again to download it so that our antivirus will not remove it anymore let's go to the folder again come on as we said allow on this device Let's click it again. Keep. Yes, it is this document. It is an executable file and most probably it is a Trojan. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, in this document there is a micro once we enable the micro our CMD watcher catches uh, the code run on the PowerShell then we take this PowerShell uh, code and go to base64 decoder website and decode it after that take it and simplify the code to get a meaningful uh, payload for us these are the URLs that this uh, malware trying to reach and download another malware uh, to get access on the devices yes that's all for today I hope you enjoy see you in the next video thank you